I have exciting news. We have decided to create a no dig day on the 3rd of November every year. Why? Well, to celebrate the joys and benefits and wonderful results of no dig. It's a method that is really gaining ground now in both literal sense and also in, in terms of lifestyle and people expressing real happiness <laughs> from like making a no dig bed and, and taking the harvest. So what we've done is on my website, we've created a page where you can find it on the button at the top and then scroll down and you'll see as you go down, there's a logo we've had designed and you can download that, use it on social media or anything you like and spread the word. <laughs> so this, this is something about, you know, about talking a lot about this exciting way of growing food. Also ornamental gardening I and mean, generally looking after your soil and the environment. Uh, what could you actually do on the day? Well, you could make a bed like this. This is my bed by the shed, we call it. It's, it's one bed, four by eight feet, 1.2 by 2.4 meters. And it's got winter vegetables in, has it happens. <laughs> Second plantings in the summer, there's cabbages, there's parsnips, there's chicories, savoy cabbage, chard, broccoli, kale, and leeks. And that's all things that you could be looking after through the winter. It's why November for No Dig Day? Well, it's actually because it's a fantastic day to start. And so you could be enjoying these things by next year. It's the beginning of the gardening year in, in many eyes. So you can create beds, you can look after them and get everything ready before the end of the year in the Northern Hemisphere. If you're in the Southern Hemisphere, by the way, you can still join in. You know, it's a fantastic chance to just get everything really nice and enjoy your summer harvest, but it still could be really strong, no dig day. On the day itself, we've got uh, the things you can join in, like there's gonna be a caption competition. So we'll put up a photograph and you can submit your caption and we'll announce the winner at the end of the day. And we'll send you a, a copy of my new book, No Dig. And we also have competition for children. You could make a bed, <laughs> do this before the event. You could um, take a photo of something you created that has a No Dig connection, a Lego model or, or a, a painting or anything you like. Uh, it'd be lovely to see that. and. The winners of that will probably have a couple. Uh, details again on that website page. We'll send you a copy in January, you might have to wait a bit, <laughs> of my new book which is coming out then, uh, No Dig Gardening for Children. And then on the day itself, we'll be having a lunch here and also I'll be doing a video with a premiere. I've not done that before. So I look forward to chatting with you if you want to join in uh, during that video. And I'm going to consult my notes actually because there's so much going on <laughs> on the 3rd of November. I just want to make sure I haven't missed anything. Oh yeah, we're on the 3rd of November we'll, we'll be giving free access to the broad bean lesson of my online course Seed to Harvest because that is something you can sow at that time if you're in a temperate climate. And also free access to the module about winter gardening. And we'll also be giving 20% off all of my online courses. And I think that is everything I've needed to say. So I look forward to seeing you, some of you at least in November. And do, do join in, spread the word, have a bit of fun with this, see where it takes us.